So today we're going to be using our Roto Hog by Bush Hog on the back of our Coyote CK3510 SE tractor with a cab, of course, to till up our garden. It's a little early, but we figured we'd get a jump start on it because it's supposed to be in the 70s. So we like to go ahead and get a jump start, till up where our garden's going to be, and then hit it a couple more times before we plant. So here we are. We're going to use the RT72G tiller to actually till up the garden and get our garden ready. So check it out. you're wondering you know the tiller sitting here on the back I have an auto setting that when I so on the CK 3510 there's an auto setting here right there yeah, if it'll zoom I only do it when I don't want it to do it I'm sure anyways there's a setting right here a button that is driving me crazy there it is it's an auto setting that when you if you have this off you have to manually turn on and off your PTO. But when it's in auto, your PTO will only, will actually automatically turn off when it's in the up position. So when it's in 10 is the up position. Down is in the one position. So it'll automatically shut off when I go to make a turn. If I pull this, pull it up, the PTO will automatically disengage, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and engage it. As you can see, I'm in auto, PTO's not turning, and when I go to drop it, it'll auto engage. Another question I often get is, what speed do I run my tractor at? You can see right here, typically 540 is the Econo mode, or down here, 1800 540E is the Econo mode, 540 up here at about, what, 2400 RPM standard. I run it at about 2000 RPM when I'm doing stuff like this unless I feel the tractor's under load. So I just feel the tra tractor out a little bit and uh, go with the feel. So here we go, I'm gonna crank her up. And now I'm gonna drop the lever. And now the PTO's running. Pretty cool. feature. I have cruise control. So a lot of times what I do is I set my speed. I don't want to go this fast. 
reach down here at the cruise control. Look at that. No feet. Still moving. Still tilling. Look how nice that tilled it. Tilled it up real nice. We do have some chunks here where, I'm gonna get my shadow out of it, where this is freshly tilled up. This has never been tilled before here on this side. So there are some chunks. I'll have to go over that again um, on my next go around and that'll finish that off. But look at that where the garden was before. Absolutely awesome. And again, we did all that with our coyote CK 3510 SC tractor with a cab, of course, so I can stay warm or cool, dust free. That's what I love about it. It's got some filters. I'll go over that in another video, but uh, dust free inside the cab, which is cool. And if you guys have seen my other videos, you'll know that this tiller is awesome. It takes brush like that and turns it into that. It's pretty cool. All right, everybody, well, you've seen us till up the garden with our Coyote CK3510. We're going to hit it again here in a, probably a week. We're, again, we're supposed to see the 70s, 60s, 70s. Then we're going to get a ton of rain. Now, once that rain calms down and things dry up a little bit, then we'll retill it again um, and start our planting. But uh, that's where we're at. If you haven't done so, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot. Give us a little thumbs up if you like the video. And again, we thank you for stopping by Kurtzberg Mini Farms, and we hope to see you next time. Bye.